Hello and welcome to this Dungeon Fog tutorial. Today we're looking at the Paint Room tool. That's the third option down on our right hand side of our screen. However, before we get to the Paint Room tool, if we wanted to change the textures, the type, the wall thickness, all of the different options that we have with our rooms, traditionally we'd have to select the room first and then go and change our floor or wall textures, the thicknesses, or even the wall type for example. However, the Paint Room tool allows us to do so much more and a lot faster and quicker. Let me select the Paint Room tool by left clicking on it. Automatically you'll notice it looks very similar to the Wall or Draw Room tool. This is because it's going to be doing similar stuff, but notice there is no red dot indicating that I can't create a room. However, notice that it changes to that Paint Roller. This indicates that it's going to change these rooms. So if I select my floor, and let me just select something that uh, stands out quite nicely, so Old Dirt, and I select my wall type, let's change that to something stone-like, uh, let's make it a blue stone, let's change the wall type, let's keep it at normal as a matter of fact, but let's make the outer thickness 12 and the inner thickness 3. Now when I left click on any one of these rooms, after I've got the paint roller, it automatically changes the room to my settings of the paint room. This means that I could quite easily select another room and change it. Note it changes the room type as well. So if I press Ctrl Z and go back a step, if I select this room, we'll notice that this is a below ground room with an inner wall thickness of 4 and those textures loaded up. When I use the paint room tool, however, it is going to overwrite all of that information and let's have a look. Yes, it does. So when I select it again, we now notice that it has all been overwritten, the wall type has been changed, etc, etc. But what if I don't like this particular wall texture? What if I prefer the settings of, say, this room? Do I need to go in and find the floor texture and the wall texture and try and mimic all of these values? No. I select the Paint Room tool and all I do is select in the top right hand side this eyedropper. Once I've selected the eyedropper, when I select the room, notice it changes to the eyedropper style. When I select the room, it adopts all of the room's properties. And so now when I left click on another room, it will automatically default it to the properties of that original room. And again, if I don't like what I've done, I can press Ctrl Z or I can use the eyedropper to, let's say, select this room. Now it's adopted all of the properties of this room. It's an advanced room with different colors of the outer wall and the inner wall, different values and things. All I do is left click on the room that I want to apply those properties to and it copies them. Please note, it does not change the effects applied to the actual segments of the room. So if I select this room again, the wall segment is set to circle and will remain thus. It will not be changed when I use the paint room tool. This is a very quick and easy way to conform your different rooms together to try out different textures and wall shapes and sizes and see which one works best for you. I'm going to select this cave and see what the circular chamber looks like as a cave. Again, the curve remains on the segment. The outer wall is now dropped as that is the setting for caves. The segment that was hidden remains hidden and we can continue to apply that to all of the rooms or undo them, undo, undo and undo again and go back to our original stasis. That is the Paint Room tool.